I believe that we each have a calling. And that reason we wake up in the morning, it keeps us going. And it's having faith that, that there's good in everyone that keeps me going. There were times where well, we lived in the back of my mom's car, we lived in different motels. And I think having those experiences helped me see that not everyone grows up in this world with a silver spoon in their mouth. Not everyone knows what it, it feels like to go to bed hungry. Uh, not everyone knows what it feels like to not know your father, not know your parents. Not everyone knows that. But the challenge that I've come to find is that this is a very common story for black men. When I first met Terrell, he was in ninth grade, and he was initially very resistant. I don't think the biggest problems are drugs and gang violence. I think those are all symptoms of some deeper issues that we have yet to fully deal with. You know, one in 10 black males uh, may make it to college. That doesn't tell you why, right? A statistic doesn't tell you the story. It only brings to light an idea. And I think the stories are what make the ideas real. Terrell is going to be a politician. <laughs> he started stepping up and stepping into to who he is going to become. It's about getting our students, getting the Terrells of the world to a place where they, they wake up, they see what's in front of them, and they, they grab it. When I see my students go to college and when I see them beating some of the odds, I feel deeply connected to them and deeply connected to my community. There's very few moments in this life where we feel truly and deeply connected. My name is D'Artagnan Scorza. I'm a community builder, and I only know one way.